नमस्कार अपनी कहानी स्ट्रगल टू सक्सेस में आपका स्वागत है आज हमारे साथ मिस्टर सौमिन चक्रवर्ती हैदराबाद से जुड़े हुए हैं नमस्कार वेलकम नमस्कार प्लीज आप अपने जीवन यात्रा के बारे में बताएं सो आई वाज बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन शांति निकेतन इन वेस्ट बंगाल माय फादर वाज अ प्रोफेसर देयर ही वाज बोथ पीएचडी एंड डिलेट एंड ही वाज हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडोलॉजी इन विश्वावर यूनिवर्सिटी even though our village was close about 19 km away from chandriketa uh, so we had a lot of you know route and connect to our village because it was quite close so we were five brothers i was the youngest so mostly uh, in our family uh, except for my eldest brother who went for mbbs and later on became an md he was a doctor the other brothers were doing uh, graduation post graduation and then uh, was going doing their phd and getting into academics which i didn't want to follow i actually uh, in my childhood i used to be very active in sports ncc and initially i thought i will join in the air force and that's why i took a combined defense service exam uh, but uh, as it happened after graduation i also got through in the management uh, education i got admission in iim ahmedabad so i landed up uh, after finishing my graduation uh, i did it uh, bsc on a specific i didn't do msc but i went and gone for uh, those days the, uh, the institute used to offer post graduate diploma and even though it was equivalent to mba but it was a diploma so my father never and don't speak fully he just thought instead of doing a post graduation i am somehow completing a diploma but uh, i got uh, few offers and started my career in the industry but he always used to have that regret that i didn't complete my full education so by the same time i didn't want to take a break from my uh, career but uh, i wanted to do phd sometime so at a very fag end of my career i enrolled myself for an executive fellow program in management which is a phd equivalent that was course from indian school of business which is also in hyderabad that i completed last year so i thought this is something i i have done in memory of my father so that you know he is no more he was born in 1915 so basically if he would have been alive he would have been another 7 years old but he died about uh, 15 years back but uh, i feel very good that i could <laughs> complete that education and uh, i worked in five different companies uh, started with cmc then i was in c dot then i joined aisha group then i was with tecumse and that's where when i met you <laughs> and if i recall even uh, sami began jaitanna nagi used to come and he right. actually taught us right. uh, yoga yoga nitta and he also helped you know uh, a lot of people in tecum say including the workmen they got benefited but i left tecum say in 2001 and i joined dr reddy's and i spent the last 20 years of my career with dr reddy's uh, before i started uh, my own consulting uh, firm now which is called samarjita management consultants so samarjita has two meaning samar plus jita means warrior i mean how to fight for <laughs> helping others fight all the words against competition and everything but there is another meaning of samarjita that is some anarjita if you take that then it is a gift of god so we i am doing you know helping some organizations and that's how keeping myself you know fully busy even after retirement so that's in brief uh, my life journey i am blessed with a uh, son and grandson and my son has got two sons so i have two grandsons wow and my daughter is yet to have any uh, kids so far but uh, my grandson one is 3 year one is 1 year old and is lovely spending time with them so i'll be shortly visiting them next week <laughs> they don't stay with us they stay in delhi my daughter stays in hyderabad in a different place but sometimes i get to meet them and as you know my wife she used to say she also completed double post graduation initially in sociology and later in master of human resource management and also did a post graduate in healthcare education but um, we uh, 
enjoy our time in Hyderabad. We've been here for so many years in Hyderabad. And of course, sometimes I go to Shantiniketa and we have also an apartment in Kolkata. I spend some time there. As well. So that's in short my life is. It's really inspiring. And one thing um, we see and we heard, and uh, I'm saying also that there is no age for education. You can complete your education after your retirement too. So congratulations that you completed that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. आपको ऐसी कौन सी चीजें जो बहुत इंस्पायर करती हैं? So uh, I grew up in Shantiniketan, so always you know Tagore's work always inspired. You know he wrote a lot of things in a lot of areas. And he was very multi, you know, was talented, uh, right from being an author, philosopher, music uh, composer, singer, director, everything, an artist. So that he used to. But as I uh, got into management, I read a lot of you know books by great authors. Some of them have really been uh, tremendous also been inspiring. Whether it is Stephen Covey's work, uh, like Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, or uh, Goldratt, he wrote uh, books, Goals and Theory of Constraint. I also had the privilege of spending some time with him in his writing home in Amsterdam and also in Israel. So those works really inspired me and. Uh, Time to time, reading some great books, and uh, also, if I faced challenge in my career, you know, any time I faced challenge, I always looked at any problem as an opportunity. So somehow, any kind of challenge was also a source of inspiration for me to overcome those challenges. I mean, you know, in Tikkun say what uh, tremendous challenge we had, and we. Went through strike, lockout, you know, all kinds of things. But uh, ultimately, we succeeded, uh, having a very uh, peaceful, harmonious workplace with a lot of improvements, like you know, productivity improves so many times. You know, almost uh, we used to make uh, 1,800 compressors with 1,800 people. When I left, uh, it was 4,500 compressors we were making per day with uh, 900 people. So it was almost five times improvement. Quality improved so many times. Cost also, so uh, it happened. So there was a tremendous challenge, but we successfully overcame that challenge. So anytime, even doctor, it is also I have spent in twenty years in different different areas. You know, normally uh, professional either will uh, specialize in one area or work in a couple of areas and become a CEO and that six. But I when I went CXO and I was six almost in nine different areas. So I was chief of HR, I was also chief of finance, a CFO, I was chief of digital process excellence. Sometimes I was chief of operation. For a few years I was uh, head of global quality. Then uh, sometimes working in strategy, business development, and heading business. So multiple kind of role I played. So then every time, any such new role, you know, was always challenging because you have to learn, and uh, that also is something I thoroughly enjoy. Learning something new and trying to do something different, so that you you can leave a legacy when you are no more in that place. So that is something which really gives you tremendous satisfaction. After so many years, last year only I went and attended the marriage of uh, you know, ex colleague from uh, North Kumsi. I mean, I met almost after you know 22 years, oh. but uh, the kind of warmth, the kind of you know respect and affection they had for me, it was very heartening to watch. So. You feel good if you leave a legacy. People remember you, and you also feel good about it. You have the long experience, you know. So I have a very personal question: uh, Which was the most challenging uh, moment or uh, day for you in your life? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think uh, I don't know whether you knew about it or not. Uh, this also happened while I was in Kolkata. On the 31st December, we uh, traveled from Delhi to Haridwar, mm -hmm. and then uh, we went to Rishikesh, and uh, then we felt we will go to Biasi, where a lot of people go for river rafting. So actually, we went off from uh, Rishikesh, and we were all driving. It was a small, uh, you know, Maruti car. We used to have those days. So there was a driver, and sometimes I was driving. So like that, we drove and went to Biasi. But when we reached Biasi, it was. Uh, still, it is not evening, but it was very late afternoon. But uh, I got very excited, you know, saying that you know 
water flow, the way gang is, is flowing there. So we stopped the car somewhere, I immediately took up my shoe and went down and went down to the you know riverside. And uh, while my family members were yet to follow, but I just went down immediately. Um, I still remember, uh, apart from my family, then my wife, son, and daughter, my father in law was also there with us. But uh, before I realized, I, uh, you know, during the whole day, you know, there was a water, you know, uh, which was there, which is seeded by them, that way because the rocks were very slippery. So before I could realize, I, I just slipped and I got into the river. Oh, yeah. and the so much of flow of the river, I was a few feet into, you know, inside the river. And, uh, you know, because I had some reflex, because I was play sports also, I did some, you know, rock climbing course while I was in NCC. So I could just somehow, you know, twist it and try to hold on to some track in a rock. And I got hold on to, you know, tracks and I was holding on to it. But the kind of current which was there, it was almost like as if, you know, 20 people are trying to pull you. So, and my wife could realize and she just shouted at the top of her voice and it, it, it packed, but somehow the river rupting instead of people could hard and they immediately came running and threw a rope and uh, we just survived and I just survived. So that is the day when I realized, you know, it is almost like you know, getting back to life. So one thing happened, you know, I became far more courageous than what I was. And that's why I never, you know, was afraid of anything in my life because for me, it was like a God gifted opportunity for me to take care of my family, my, you know, do what I want to do in my life. And uh, that incident has a not tremendous very, but uh, otherwise there's so many things, you know, both in professional and personal, you know, everything uh, is learning. And, you know, I, 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 I tell you, you know, I've got, I, um, you know, took that pilot aptitude at potential test. And there was one particular test where, uh, you know, there's a tremendous coordination between your, uh, you know, brain, hands and legs. So there was something like a rotating drum with a lot of holes in the drum and there was another dimension. You have to almost click pain to different holes or dots in the drum. And as many time you click, you get points. And the whole thing happens for about 90 seconds and, you know, the maximum, you will do three attempts and the maximum score is taken. So people told me that unless you get 60 and above, you don't pass the PAPT. And the first time I did, and I had a very good coordination of, you know, brain, eye, and, uh, hand and legs. But despite everything, I got around 35 or between 35 and 40, I don't know. And then uh, I wondered what was happening. So I took, you know, some time to reflect. And that is a habit I developed throughout my life, I practice that, you know, always do some reflection. What's going wrong? What do we need to change? And when I reflected, something struck me that I was desperately chasing the dots. And as I was chasing, and I was trying to put the pain into the dot, the dot was going away because it was a very random moment and very fast. So I thought instead of chasing the dots, I should actually anticipate the movement of the dots and be ready with my pain to play it. Mm -hmm. Observe the pattern, see the movement, anticipate the movement, and be ready to click. I changed my strategy, and second time it improved. It, you know, it was more than sixty, and the third time it was almost closer to eighty. And that's something which uh, you know told me that in life you have to really be ready. You know, make yourself ready for higher level of responsibility than anything that you want to do. If you are not ready, and if you are chasing something, a lot of people in career also I have seen some of the people wanted to become a general manager. They were fantastic deputy general manager, but they performed very poorly as general manager because they were not ready. But they wanted to be, a, they were very ambitious. They moved very fast there and then they, you know, suffered a lot. So I thought it is always better to get ready and opportunities will come on your way. And same thing I did. Whenever I got some opportunity, I took a different assignment. I, you know, I learned and it came, opportunities came on my way and I took. <laughs> so that's why you know, multiple areas I could handle. So even a simple test in a PFPT taught me a lot in terms of <clears throat> how one should approach life. You know, those are good learnings. Absolutely. Uh, rightly, uh, you said that um, be ready for the uh, situation. And if you are ready to accept, then uh, you will grow for sure. Right? Yeah. <laughs> 
अगर भगते रहो चीजों के पीछे तो क्या वहां में न्यूअर इन दैट मोशन इन योर डिस्परेशन बींग इम्प्रेशन वो छूट जाता है <laughs> तो यू नीड टू हैव पेशेंस एंड यू नीड टू ऑलवेज प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ गेट रेडी एंड सेकेंड थिंग यू नो समथिंग लाइक बट यू एन यूर डू यू रीड एन यूर सक्सेस ऑफ अदर्स ना यू शुड डू दैट देन यू विल ऑलवेज फील यूर एट पीस विथ योर सेल्फ now in my life i think one of the greatest achievement that i have is that there are a lot of my team members who have done places I mean, there are several ceos and cxos in indian industry who are part of my team sometimes so i think somehow i could contribute by you know growing them coaching them mentoring them to become better leaders and there are you know more than 100 such people so i feel very proud that i could help so many people to become successful in life so then you know it it outsources your own success and you feel good so at the end of the you know happiness is important what makes you happy you would have to have some sense of fulfillment bilkul sahi kaha aapne ki jab aap kisi ko mentors kar rahe hain aur wo grow karte hain to acha lagta hai then you can say uh, you that satisfaction you cannot buy anywhere and yeah. you cannot get anywhere this too right bahut bahut dhanyawad aapka samay ke liye thank you so much thank you so much i still practice some of those you know yoga yoga nidra that you people have helped us understand uh, i still you know chant mahamrityanjay mantra times and those specific you know shanti mantra and all it gives uh, you know uh, you feel very happy you know but it is a mind and uh, i uh, really thank you i i have met sabhi vigyan chetanani for a very long time but uh, time to time i get message from you but i feel very good today seeing you and obviously you know if i go to germany i will make sure that we go and personally meet okay you are always welcome thank you thank you bahut bahut dhanyawad aap sabho ka uh, लाइक like करें सब्सक्राइब करें और अगर जैसा कि आप जानते हैं कि इन्होंने बहुत सारे सीईओस को मेंटर किया है तो अगर आप भी सीईओस बनना चाहते हैं तो कुछ टिप्स जानना चाहते हैं तो लिखें और मैं फिर से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि वो आपको गाइड करें धन्यवाद नमस्कार